Hey, hello, I am Shadow and welcome back to a, what I'm going to call an update spotlight on the YDM Yu-Gi-Oh! mod pack, where I'm going to give you a quick rundown of everything currently inside of it on the current version, and the new features that got added, because it's finally here. But we'll get that into a second. Here is a big old pedestal, we'll head on over. Alright, so, like before, we have the card supply block. However, this is a creative mode item only, I forgot to mention that. This means that you can only access it from the creative menu. However, you get access to every single card, like Nexus or Dueling Book, and those kinds of simulators where you have access to everything from this box. But you don't need it anymore, we'll get to that in a bit. Also, custom cards, they do work. You can even add your own if you wanted to, I'm just not sure how you would do that. But, you can make them. Like we see here, you can tribute those three cards, some of this, and it's all every single card ever made, and custom cards that the people that support him make. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh card binder still, which is just real handy. Put cards in, it stores them up. It does not have a search bar yet, and it's not too in-depth, but that is being worked on next. So, look forward to that. We have all this. It's, it's very exciting. Next up is the dueling mat and the dueling table. There's, they're just so that you can duel. You need another person to do that. They both function the exact same. And so to help you showcase that, hey, yep, we have just random old uh, Alex here. It's just me opening up in a different window again. But yep, just here, we have decks. We hit this, we hit play, and we're gonna ready up real fast. So one second. All right, so it's real simple. Same deck select and all that. You just click whatever deck you have an inventory you want to use, and bada bing bada boom. Now, we have access to a dice roll. Whoops, that should not be there. There we go. Rolls the dice. Also, don't forget to shuffle your deck. So you click here, shuffle deck. Bam. And also, you can view your deck at any time. It shows you all your cards over on the right. Cycle down. If you need to add one to hand, you just drag it. Hit it wherever you want. Banish it. Send the graveyard. Set it, activate, add to hand, put it here, extra zone, all that good stuff. Shuffle the deck again. We have the phases button. We have the flip view. We have an offer draw, which is disabled, and emit defeat, which is also disabled. Those will get worked on later. Reload, which just fixes everything. Flip view, which is whoever you're looking from. We have advanced options. We have coin flip still. Let's just summon a card. Oops. Here we go, advanced options. So we have special summon a token in attack position of this card. Basic options, move, move it all around. Hit this, we can put counters on it. We can remove the counters. We can oops, put them in here. We can have this, attack. we can move it to other people's spaces. I don't have control of that monster anymore though. And basically this just functions like real life Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you can move it wherever you want without having to do like a little drop down, down menu. So with a little bit of being used to it, you can mess around with that. Now, thank you other me. But we don't need you no more. And back we go. And we're back. So next up, same old thing. Dual discs. Pop them off. Put them on. Purely cosmetic, but they look super cool when you hold them on your arm. Really, really like how they look, especially this one. Just take, uh, take that back off now. And then we have deck boxes. Now, these are just simple. You put cards in here, you make your decks, you have your side deck, your extra deck, your main deck, all those good things. However, there's a bonus feature. We have the Patreon deck box, which says that, and this shows it's empty. What that means is if you are a patron to him and you support him, he will let you put your decks in, which my fun favorite one that I have seen is why should we make this? Which is literally just, uh, you want to have you want to have a bad time, because <laughs> this is how you have a bad time. Oh, that's great. Just pop those back in. And then lastly is the piece of the resistance, the main feature that got added in the most recent update, packs. You hold them in your hand, it shows you your odds of getting something in the upper left. Right click it, you get cards. Horn of Phantom Beasts, Horn of Phantom Beasts, Sky Striker, Zero Space, 
Mechan Army, Magical Citadel. Basically, oops, these all are their own unique packs, just like they are in real life. So we have, I can even say the uh, rarities, we got super rares, commons, we got still super rares. It's just all that good stuff of opening a pack in Minecraft. And it's the most recent feature, and you can tweak these to have your own custom card packs. So, as it stands, it's still being developed, but it does add a lot of new things pretty frequently. He's working on it still. Really, really, really want you to shout him out. Casualty, check. I'm gonna put the link to the mod below, and also he has his own Discord in that mod website. Recommend you go join if you want to try to get in on the updates and if you want to also support him. Really great. As well as if you enjoyed seeing the update for the mod, because I am excited to see this come to fruition. Because I'm still going to work on the actual server for everyone that watches this in other places. To go play and enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! in this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also feel free to join my own Discord where you can get notifications about things that are semi to majorly important. And also, I hope to see you all next time where that wasn't all I had planned for so far. And also, I will continue covering this. See ya!